G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday Hour of Install. Now today, we're on the Mighty Tank 300. So, if you haven't been here before, you're here, welcome, welcome to Pirate Camco's Install Channel. You're obviously here because you want to see us install this rear parcel shop. Now, the first thing that you must do is go to your fridge, grab a guilty pleasure. Ah, cheers legends. Mmm. Oh man, that fridge is cold. Mwah! It's a pretty hot day here today in Queensland. Have we got this. Pirate Life South Coast Pale Ale. The best. I love this drop, eh? By the way, um, Pirate Life Brewing. I think we should be collabing. Like, I don't know. Now, if you are watching this, I think everyone needs to go and tag them for me. And be like, yo, do a collab. Because I spent a lot of money on their beers. I'm like, come on, guys. And all you guys keep buying it. And I'm just like, man just wants a carton. That's it. Just a carton. And a cool Pirate Life banner that I can put up in my office. Oh, yeah. But anyways, moving on to the install. So, first things first, you're gonna get, you're gonna open your box, unwrap everything, and you're gonna be faced with this shelf. You're also gonna be faced with two brackets like this, two brackets like that, right? Now, this is the fun part. So, when we look at this, this bad boy here, sorry, and you're also gonna have a shitload of these couple of pieces here, and a shitload of bolts and stuff there, which we will discuss later. So when we look at this tray, what you've got to look at here is see how it's raised here and it's not so high there. This is the first thing we need to look at. So this is the back or front, right? So this section here, this high piece faces towards the front of the vehicle. This narrow piece faces towards the back of the vehicle. I call that, that actually, yeah, front, back, whatever. But anyways, that goes towards the front of the vehicle. Depends on which way you're looking at it, to be fair, if it's the back or the front. Like, it's technically the back of the shelf because the way you enter it, but they are, oh, man. Ah, oh, there's just, oh my God. In the, in the comments below, tell me what you reckon. Is it the back or at the front? I don't know. Anyways, tell us down there, what do you reckon? Is that the front or is that the back? I don't know. You be the judge. Okay, so moving forward. So these little smaller brackets here, you see we've got the two different size brackets. So these ones, get that. These ones are smaller brackets. These are for the, for the front or the back. <laughs> for the shorter side, and they go on like that, right? So, these ones are for the back, and you really can't get them wrong because they also go on like that. As you can see here. So we'll discuss that in a minute. So that's them, so that's how we identify the parts that we have. Now, we have this big beautiful bag of bolts here. Yours will be way better laid out than this. There's actually some bastard bolts in here that shouldn't be in here, but they're in here, because my bolt order came in incorrect. So I'm gonna actually not lay them out yet. I'm gonna start off by putting the bits out of the car we need to. And I'll go through the tools with you as we go. But it's a pretty simple install, probably, I'll tell you at the end, but I reckon half an hour. And you'll need a mate. It's gonna be easy if you have a friend to give you a hand because this shelf's a little bit more difficult, but it's pretty cool. So grab my beer because I'm thirsty. Also, how's the Pringles outfit? And the Crocs, the only problem with it is that it makes me hungry. Like, kind of hungry. Hungry, Al? I got yeah, some, yeah, I've got some, some Pringles. Pringles in the cupboard, but they're like, I opened them like four months ago. <laughs> so, they're probably no good. Rightio, so I'm going to pull this out of my way for now. I'm going to jam him out of rear in everybody else's way. Check that if he's done it later. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the seats over. <clears throat> so obviously you already know how to do that. In there, lay them over. Ta -da. Oh. Didn't realize that he can go down flat. Tank thing. Tank things. Straight from China. Righty, eh? Let's slide them forward. Nah. Slide that bad boy down. Righto, seats down. So see up here it says, Airbag SRS, woo, woo It's a sneaky little spot in there that we're gonna reveal. So I've just consulted my King Chrome set. I have myself a little screwdriver. Now if you have one of these little tiny screwdrivers or even a seal pick or any of that's the easiest to get in here. And where the join is in the two plastics, just put it in there and just peel it out like that. And that reveals a bolt head. All right there. So we'll do that on the other side. So I was at the post Black Friday sale, so we have to take a small break. However, we are back, are back in action. 
So, now, by the time you see this, I'm sorry, Black Friday sales over. So you're gonna have to wait till 2025 because we don't do any other sales. So if you have a look over here, you see we've got these tie down points here or ring points, whatever they are, we'll call them that. So this black cover here, what we're gonna do is same little screwdriver thing before, just get in behind it and go, oh, my bad, and just go, boink, and it just, <laughs> and it, um, it just flies off. So get that bad boy here. Oh, wow. So this bad boy's off. Do the same on this side. And that reveals our next point here. We need to undo this screw bolt. So we're gonna get a Phillips head screwdriver. Ah, I'm just gonna go full noise on the, on the king chrome, baby. Full king chrome noise, boy. Oh yeah, a swanky king chrome set, look at this. Now the other thing I need to tell you as well, so if you, if you don't really have many tools to do the install with, all good, head down to Super Cheap, Total Tools, Sydney Tools, Bunnings, Rep Gun, pretty, pretty much everyone. King Chrome, these bad guys here, bad boys, yep, wherever it is. King Chrome, now these guys sell a little set which will do this job, it's about, I think the first one starts about 120 or 150 dollars and it's got all the sockets you need, spanners, and a little screwdriver set. And you can go up to the next one, which is 220, which has got even more in it, but it's got absolutely everything you'll need to do this install and all the other installs that we do. It's a full comprehensive kit. The tools are pretty good, so you can have a good quality tool that's gonna last you for a while. And you can have the tools for the install and anything else you buy of ours later on. <laughs> so anyways, Phillips head. But unfortunately, you're not gonna have this power because this is, a bit more than that. But look at that. Bloody marvelous. So heavy. Me so strong. Alrighty. Next one moving in. So we're gonna get this one here. There's only one way these can go. So if you try to do that, it's not gonna work. You can see here, this piece here goes under the bottom and that bit goes on the side and it should look something like this. So first one we have to soft bolt. <laughs> like boys, girls, like cars and money. By the way, I'm also not getting paid for my singing ability because I suck. Put these bad boys there for later. Same with that one. So in here, we line the hole up there, bolt in. And we need to get a washer. Now the washer's gonna be very important on this install. Normally in my other installs, I whinge about the washers, but we definitely need a washer in this one, so we're putting them on. Washer on the nut side, flange bolt on this side. Same again, I'm just gonna loosely bolt this stuff. I'm gonna whinge later when I wanna do it up. Oh, I've got itchy face. A bug bit me. I don't grab that nut there. Put that bad boy on. You'll see down here, we've got two more to put in there, which we will 100% do now as well. Hey, uh. Get really close to your camera then. I made lots of funny noises. Okay, so the next bracket. Now, see this little one here for the front side of it or back side, whatever you want to call it. Still waiting for you to tell me in the comments. I keep reading them, nothing there. <laughs> so this one can only go one way as well, because if you get on that end, it's gonna go and bloody point the wrong direction. So as you can see here, I have I put it on like that. If I go to the other end, it will hang off the other side. So, see here, I've got two holes and a hole there. When I put this on, these two holes line up with there and one lines up here. So, I'm gonna put my bolt up there and I'll sh we'll give you a close up in a minute on what this bracket should look like when it's on there. Just so you guys get to actually see what it is so you don't make any mistakes trying to put it in, but I'll just get all these bolts in and then we can show you. <laughs> Drop the nut in. <coughs> Pardon me. Because boy. Make sure you put the washers on before the nut because these are gonna be important for this one. Okay, now if you get a little bird's eye view of this, you can see how this should look from the top when you're assembling. And I'm gonna have a quick sippy of my beer while Al shows you that. Puts a bit of music in. Mommy now, we never, 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 we
Oh, so that's how that looks. Now, we're going to spin this around. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other end. <laughs> ah, get out of my way. Bloody king chrome thing. Oh, look at that. Little spot to hang me, little king chrome thing. Fucking marvelous, huh? Not bad. What could go wrong? Big bracket again. Goes towards the back here. Fula. Just rinse and repeat what we just done. So Al's going to fast forward this bit because you guys don't want to see me do this shit again. Alrighty, so, whoa, hydration break. Make sure you go and stay hydrated because if you're not hydrated, it's going to be a bad day because you're going to piss not clear, you're going to piss orange or yellow or really yucky and stink. And um, yeah, you're not going to be very hydrated. But beer keeps you hydrated. <laughs> going down too well today. So, before we move forward, what you need to double check is that each of these brackets has four bolts in it. Two in this flange and two in that flange. So Al's gonna give you a quick look now at the camera. Then we can uh, show you some more. Rightio, so the next step to this, the next piece of the puzzle is this beautiful piece here. Now, if you have a look, you see this end here, see how it's a funny shape? There's only one way this can go in. So you need to grab this, there's one on either side. So earlier when I said about the SRS airbag piece, that's where this goes. So we're gonna go and put these in. Now we're also gonna grab a little screwdriver, I'll grab this Allen key actually, and we're just gonna, you may have to line it back up to line up the bolt hole. So, and I need some light. So, oh, nearly took out the camera, man. Uh, oh. I have a light. So, cameraman, if you'd like to come in from that door, maybe. Right here, so 10 mil spanner, socket ratchet. Well, oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just getting more and more comical. So it turns out it's not a 10 mil, it's actually an eight mil. Please hold. <clears throat> we'll try that again. Right, on, let's try this again, but <clears throat> turns out I'm an idiot. Oh, he's done it this time, he's got it. We're on, we're on team, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, boy! We're on team, I got it right this time. Grab this bad boy. <whistles> Booyah! Perfect, it lines up with the hole, that's perfect. So we know that's good. We'll go to the other side with what we just discovered and we'll do rinse and repeat on the same thing. And um, yeah, and then we can go and put our shelf up. Rightio, so this is the part where it's gonna be easy if you get a friend or if you get some milk crates and stack it up or whatever to try. And get the height you need. However, lucky for me, and probably unlucky for you, you might be in the situation, there's a greasy mechanic across from me, so I go and grab him, get to give me a hand. Sambo! What's the Trump dance? <laughs> it's like a bad aerobics thing, eh? Come on, you greasy bastard. We've got a, it bolts on here, here, and then when the black things are. Yep. So I'll get you to get one side in there, I'll get one side and we'll hold it up and we'll put uh, bolts in. Back in front, I'm guessing. Uh, yep, this is, yep, back, front. Oh, wait, explain wait. To how you explain okay, it. so this is technically the front and that's technically the back, I believe, because 
This face is towards the back of the vehicle, but it's to the front of the shelf, if you know what I mean. How would you perceive this? Am I correct or am I incorrect? Because <laughs> technically that's the back of the shelf, even though it's at the front of the car. Technically, yes. But the front of the vehicle is that end of the car. So that's the front side of the shelf. Uh, but you don't. But you access everything from the front normally, right? But you open the back door. You don't open the yeah. front door. When yeah, you're that's in front the, of it, do you? yeah, but that's the. Yeah, but that's the front of the shelf, really. And that's the back. Right, I tell me who's right, me or him? Greasy, <laughs> Sammy the greasy mechanic, or me the weird pirate? Is my theory right? This is front, that's back, or is that back, that's front, uh, or is that front and that back? Let us know. And then Al's going to cut in a little piece of it so in the car. Reels. So many reels here today. Right, I say <laughs> front and back. Up. Oh, so I'll just. So, anyways, now I've got me mate here to help. We're going to feed this in. I'm going to go ahead and bolt this up. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to. So, this long bolt. So, see this long bolt here, guys? Get that, get that one out. Yep. That's one that we're going to use at the back, obviously, because of the big black thing we just put in. And these short bolts are going to go out the front here. Back into where we pulled those screwdriver ones out before. There we go. That's marvelous. And then long bolt. Good work, Sammy boy. See? Plays that mechanic across from you. Probably hates me right now. <laughs> Happens. You know what I mean? Let's be fair, if you're watching this and the pirates ever move into the shed next door to you guys, probably move out. <laughs> As you can see here, I've got my bolts in here and here. Actually, let me put this one back in. Well, that seems really low. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Marvelous. Righty, -o. so that's it pretty much in now. So we've got to go around tighten everything up, but I'll show you the bolts. So over here, we've got these two bolts we put in here. Got to tighten that one up still. Thank you, Samuel. Now, ready? This is how you repay mechanics. Pow. Huh. No, you don't get that one. Oh, <laughs> that's for me and the wife only. <laughs> that's how it's done. Thanks, Sammy. We love you. <laughs> Did you see that? I was like, <laughs> oh, where'd that come from? Ah, oh, thanks, bro. I promise I'll repay the favor. Now that's in, we're going to swap over to the 10 mil. Ugh, we're going to get the 10 mil. So we start doing all these bad boys up and the 10 mil spanner. I mean, go through. And what we're going to do is, you see now it's all a little bit loose still. So we go through tightening everything. We'll start by tightening these bolts, pulling all that up straight, and then we'll tighten into the fixing points. All righty. Doesn't really matter where you start, in my humble opinion. Oh my God. That's really awkward for me. Anyways, I'm gonna start here so everybody can see. Make sure you do give them a little bit of, a little bit of curry, a little bit of courage. So they stayed done up. I've got one in there to do. I wonder if I can get it back to front like this. Oh, oh he did it! A bit shit, but I got it. Not my car. <laughs> Colin. <laughs> Alrighty, so same again. Get these ones. Oh my god, can't use a rattle gun. Oh. Ah, I got my finger. <laughs> oh. Nice. Oh, nice. Well, let's crawl in there and do this. 
Oh, yeah, get a little angled up seat. Not bad. Not bloody bad. Shit one first. Oh yeah, that sounded real healthy. <laughs> Righty, so now that I've done that and they're all done up, all I gotta do is tighten up these ones here. So I've got my Allen key that I can go through now and rip this bad boy in. Sandwich of Jesus Christ. Boy, well, can't use an Allen key very well. You're going to have a 10 mil here, but this is the only bolts that I had because my order came through incorrect. So we end up with socket heads. So here we are. Yeah, good old socket head cap screw. Wow, well, baby. So I had to use these, unfortunately, but your kits can have a hex head and make your life so much easier than mine. My phone's ringing. I have a friend. Probably my wife ringing me to see if I want some din-din. Last but not least, these bad boys. Boom! And that lays into, look at the sweat on the brow. Look at that. Like, if you don't believe me, I hold it in here tonight. It's actually, I love, but I love Queensland, so I love the heat, so it's whatever. But it's actually hot, so cheers. Oh. That one's empty. Come over here. Let's go to the fridge. Fridge is getting a bit bare, to be fair. But anyways, like this. Oh, yeah, boy. Does cameraman need one? Yes, please. Oh, magic. There you go, mate. Look at this. The old uh, G-Works train canopy. Now, to be fair, it's not a TDI. It's not a TDI. Like, I didn't actually buy a G-Works train canopy. Nick, I still love you. I know you're mad at me. Like, Nick, me and Nick go like, Back, back to Nam like 60 years ago. And anyway, I didn't buy G-Works trains, real mad at me. Love you, Nick. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll get him. Sorry, got sidetracked drinking. <laughs> Cheers, legends. So, right, a quick little spiel on this product and what it's for. So this is basically designed when you've got things that always just get in the way and they're pesky and they get dirty and you don't want them down on the floor here in the way, things like, you know, umbrellas, first aid kits, pillows, bloody cooking things, you know, like a little gas burners, whatever, you know, you throw that shit up in. Now, it's only designed for about 10 kilos. This one's actually probably the most solid one we've been able to pull off. But you, this is not made to bang up 100 kilos of tools and things. It's made just for those pesky items that get in the way. So then you can load all this stuff up to go camping and stuff and things like that. So... Very, very handy. On the webpage, you'll find all the dimensions of what's in here, the heights here and that. I'm gonna go to women's say about 180 mil, whatever it is, but go over and check it out. Righto, legends, that is a wrap on this one. Now, if you really, really like this product, down below in the description will be a link over to our webpage where you can grab yourself one of these and see all the other badass tank products that we do. Now, if you really like this content, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, punch that notification button up the top, and most of all, if you really like this content, you might like this one here, you might like that one over there. Now, Pirate Campco TV on YouTube is where you go to see all our adventures and us testing the cars, Pirate Star. Run out in second spot, see you next time. Phew! Mm. Probably should have brought Jimny. <laughs> Just kidding. No, not really. <laughs>